And uh, let's see here. Submitted a firm fixed price. It says reopen. So it's going to be contractors filled. Okay. Chances are they reopened it because they didn't get enough uh, valid offers because not enough people gave them a firm fixed price. On most contracts, there's a minimum requirement of uh, three to five offers that have to be received on a bid contract, not on a simplified acquisition, but on a, on a bid side. And they might have only gotten two of those offers that were firm fixed. So they had to reopen it and they have to get at least one more. Wow. Uh, more than likely your, your bid is still valid. Once, okay. they, once they get a third offer and they've got enough to fulfill their requirements, then they'll still award it. Now, do I have to send in another amendment saying that I received this amendment? Mm, you, yeah, you need to acknowledge that amendment. Um, so I would just acknowledge the amendment and resubmit your bid. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions? Anybody else got a question, bid, solicitation, proposal? No other questions? Nobody else got anything to work on today? Can you guys still hear me okay? Loud and clear. Okay. Um, well, you guys are making it easy on me today. Heck. <laughs> uh, I guess there's no other questions. I, I should wait a few minutes just in case somebody's late. So, um, yes. So, when they ask for that on a, on, a, on a quote, am I just supposed to go into the SAM and copy and paste that page or, or you know, how do how do I show that? You can download it. I, I can show you real quick, and I've also got a video uh, to show you in detail in case you need to go back and refresh it. Go to Sam. gov. You're looking for this site with the top hat. If you search Sam in Google, There's quite a few companies that do pay-per-clicks. Uh, don't click on those. Make sure you go to the one that says sam.gov, and you're going to see the red top hat. You pull up your uh, information. So search record. It's public database, so Dunn's number, cage code. It's all public information. Uh, my cage code's 5YMD1. Five yellow mud ducks, one. Do view details. You do reps and certs right there. And then you're going to have uh, a download FAR option, or you may have a download FAR and DFAR option. If you have the FAR and DFAR, do that one. If you don't have this, you can only download your FAR. Click on it. It's going to download right to your desktop. Wait for it to open. And then what I do is I print it to a PDF. So I go print, save as PDF. It's going to label it. It's going to name it automatically. Leave it just as it names it. Don't change the name because that's how purchasing agents are accustomed to seeing it. Every time you download it, it's going to put a number at the end. It's going to increase each time you download. So you know right. if you got the most recent cop, the most recent version. And you want to do that at least once a month. If you're bidding every day, don't do it every day. If you bid once a month, do it at least once a month because we do update and modify that stuff for you guys. And they don't change that often, but if you download it once a month, you're good. Okay. And, awesome. Uh, Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Anybody who, uh, if if you need a refresher on that and it's on a weekend or something, you can't get a hold of me. Go to YouTube, search government uh, government contracts, download reps and certs. I got a video on it as well. Thanks. Any other questions? Anybody else got a question? Bid, solicitation, proposal. Sound like we had a few new people pop in. Nothing in the chat window. Oh, yeah, we got something in the chat window. Uh, before any money, register and travel, quick question. Are you 
on these types of events beneficial? Yes and no. I've seen events like this that were extremely beneficial and I've seen events like this that were a huge waste of time. So my theory on going to these types of events or shows is twofold. Is it, is it, uh, if it's not very expensive and, it, and it's local, um, you know, I don't want you flying halfway across the country and paying for a hotel and taxi and, and all that jazz. Plus it's $2,000 for the two day event. Um, and then get there and, and realize that it was a waste of time. So if it's a local event, you know, you, maybe you could drive there and not have to get a hotel and all those other expenses, and they're only charging a couple hundred bucks, go for it. Because if you make one connection, it's worth it. But I've also seen situations like that where uh, there was 5,000 people and there was two purchasing agents. So everyone's trying to talk to those two guys and you only have one minute to talk to them. And the, you know, that guy's ear gets chewed off all day long. In that case, you're better off just picking up the phone and cold calling. So if it's close and it's not too expensive, definitely. Uh, if it's not close and, and it's expensive or it's going to take two or three days out of your schedule or you got to fly and hotel and all that, I'd wait until there's one that's close. That's, that's inexpensive. The best ones to go to, uh, sometimes these, these military bases, they'll do an open house and they'll have, uh, you can, for $250, you can buy dinner and the money's donated to the Red Cross or something like that. Those are really good to go to because you're actually meeting that actual purchasing agents, uh, the actual purchasing agents at the, the, the base and get to shake their hands and, and, you know, talk to them and, and actually build a rapport. Those are really good. And they'll post these in FBO from time to time as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any other questions? Anybody else got anything to work on? No. Nope. All right. I'm going to let the meeting run a couple more minutes in case anybody's late. And uh, if you guys come up with a question or something like that, just pipe up. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to pause it and... I didn't even eat my lunch today, so I think I'm going to take advantage of this moment and eat my lunch. Hey, do you, man. You got it. They served lunch, and I hadn't even eaten breakfast.